German archaeologists have unearthed an incredible Bronze Age sword dating back more than 3,000 years that is amazingly well preserved. The bronze sword has an octagonal hilt and was discovered in a grave in the southern German town of Nordlingen. It is thought to be from the late 14th century BC. The design of the beautiful relic calls to mind, for me at least, the sword wielded by King Theoden in Peter Jackson's rendition of The Lord of the Rings, called Herogrim. According to Tolkien's story, Theoden's sword was an ancient one, handed down from his ancestors in the Germanic-inspired Barrow culture of Rohan. Away from the fictional similarities, the discovery was described as being in a condition so good that Bavaria's State Office for Monument Protection, BLFD, says it almost still shines. The sword is similar in design to the two blades discovered alongside the controversial Nebra Sky Disc. The grave in which it was found contained the bones of a man, woman and boy, and other bronze items the BLFD revealed. Experts are currently unsure as to whether the three bodies were related, and the rarity of the discovery raised questions about the beautifully ornate sword's origin. The BLFD says the manufacturing of such a weapon was complicated as the hilt was cast onto the blade. The sword does not appear to have been used in warfare, but it is believed to have ostensibly been a functional weapon, not simply an ornamental object. BLFD head Matthias File said the sword and the burial still need to be examined so that our archaeologists can categorise this find more precisely. But we can already say that the state of preservation is extraordinary. A find like this is very rare. It is indeed extremely unusual to find swords from this period, but they have been found in burial mounds that were excavated in the 19th century, or as individual finds, experts say. Whilst details remain scant, there are a few symbolic inferences that can be made from the stunning designs displayed on the sword. These include spirals and a moon symbol. In Central Europe, the moon symbol is the most common motif used for bronze pendants, and is displayed on the hilt of the weapon, just beneath the blade. Similar motifs have been found on bronze axes, other swords and other bronze artefacts. They have also been painted on clay figures of the Carpathian Bronze Age. The combination of this motif with prestigious artefacts suggests that its meaning in Central Europe was the same as in the Aegean, Anatolia and the Eastern Mediterranean in general, possibly hinting at a connected culture. It also suggests that it was not exclusively the symbol of a king or chieftain, but that each holder of it was connected to the divine or was invoking some superhuman aspect. According to a 2018 study called The Use of Aegean Bronze Age Symbols by the Local Elites of Prehistoric Europe by Vera klonska Yaklova of Masaryk University in Brno, Czech Republic, the symbol is shown to be extremely old and tends not to exceed the Bronze Age in this type of usage. For their part, the spirals, which are likely a representation of the sun, appear on the underside of the pommel and are one of the oldest symbols used by humans. They have been observed throughout prehistory and are present on the Bog of Allen Buller from Ireland, which embodies both anatomically and cosmically the intrinsic nature of male power and fertility. They have also been observed on ancient megaliths from the island of Orkney, to the north of the Scottish mainland, and on the mysterious Neolithic stone balls, also found predominantly in Scotland. It seems the power of these symbols and the potential legitimacy or authority they carried continued for centuries. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.